ministry worship, and maybe some of you didn't get a chance to uh, say a word if you wanted to. So let's all say together that the Lord is good. The Lord, Lord is good. good. His mercy is everlasting. His mercy is everlasting. And His truth endureth to all generations. His truth endureth to all generations. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. Let's all stand as we prepare to move into our morning worship service. And uh, if you would repeat our call to worship. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Come before his presence with singing.
have now responsive scripture reading. We're going to ask Tim Harris to um, lead us to the throne of grace and mercy with intercessory prayer. Inviting God to come in our midst and to fill our spirits and to bless our service. The promise of the Holy Spirit. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father. And he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Judas said unto him, not as Lord. Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not, he keepeth not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Father, Father, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. You may be seated at the Service. Let every eye be closed, let every head be bowed, let every mind be stayed upon the Lord. Praying in your hearts that God will bind us together on one accord. Make us in boldness according to that will. Most eternal wise God, we come to you just for a little while today, Father. Thank you, Lord. We come to lift you up in songs and praise. Father God, we ask you to come into the midst of our service today, Father. Fill us with your spirit today, Father. Father God, we ask you to clear our minds. Open our ears that we may receive the bread of life today, Father. Father, Father God. Father God, I ask you to touch my past. Fill him with your spirit today, Father, from my heart. Let his words become your words, Father God. Lord, give us a heart to receive him, Father. Yes. Father, we can't do nothing without you. So we call upon you today, Father God. We call on your spirit to fill us today, Father. Because we cannot breathe without yes. you, Father God. Because yes. in your tongue, because if you speak, men live. Yes. If you speak, men die. Yes, so we ask you to speak to us, Father God. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Fill us with your spirit. Holy Spirit. The winds and the waves obey your will. Father God, so we call upon you from our eyes to come down and fill us with your Holy Spirit today, Father. Because we're going to lift you up today. Because you said if we lift you up, we'll draw all men unto me. So we're going to lift you up in songs and prayers today. Because you want me to be praying. We cannot pray in your name enough from sunup to sundown. It just wouldn't be enough for what you had done for us. You touched us with the finger of love this morning. And you woke us up and placed us in our right mind today. We can't complain today, Father God. We can't No complaints, Lord. No complaints. Lord. Oh, because I know somebody didn't get up this morning. Lord, 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 Lord. But that's all right. Oh, because it's the answer from the 
body is pressing with the Lord. So either way, we have a goodness from you today, Father God. Whether we got it or we stay there, we still got the victory. To we can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthen us. We can do it all, Father God. Because you said it's predestined that what we do. And we say thank you because you know you're a God. You're God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, because we got to get done on this earth. Thank you, Lord. There's no sorrow on this earth that heaven can't go to you. Oh, my God, we say thank you. We got trouble all around us. People dying for no reason. But my God, look, it's high. Let me look slow. Yes, yes, yes. And he can, he's in control. Yes, he is. He's in control of all things. Yes. Father God, we say thank you. Because we're going to magnify and praise you in the day. Because I was worthy. Oh, Father, I can't praise your name enough. Yes, Lord. Oh, because trouble's everywhere. Holy Spirit. But you sent your darling son. Your darling son, Jesus. Oh, oh, yes. oh, what a wonderful man he is. Oh, He's a wonderful counselor. Oh, yes. He's a comforter. Oh, yes. Every time I need, I can call on him and say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, I can call on that mighty man. I call on your son today. I can call him. It gives me the strength to go from day to day. No God. Jesus do live. Oh. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for the faith that you put in us today that we can go out and tell somebody about Jesus who lives. He's not dead, but he lives. He lives within us today, Father God. We say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for giving us the faith. Thank you for giving us the strength that we can go out there and tell somebody. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Thank you. Lord Jesus. Thank you. Lord Jesus. We can't praise to your name enough. Father God. Yes, But it's going to come that time. We're going to sing our last song. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. We're going to pray our last prayer. Yes. Lord Jesus. We're going to preach our last song. Yes. Lord God. And then we're going to lay down. Yes. Lord Jesus. We're going to lay down for a little while. Yes. Father God. Yes. We're going to lay down just for a little while. But when we get out, we're going to see Jesus for ourselves. Uh, All that thing gets to water when we get out and sell it for ourselves. Thank you, Lord. We get out. Thank you, We're going to get out that morning. That day he's going to crack the sky. Yeah. The day that Christ is going to get up, and all of us are going to meet him in there. Oh, he's coming back for us. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for your promise. You said that you're going to come back for us. But until that day, yes, until that day comes, yes. we ask you to keep your strong arm protection around us. Yes. Holy Spirit. Keep us. Holy Spirit. Until that day, Father God. Lord Jesus. Until that day. Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. All these blessings we ask you, and all the sons. My Lord, say to Jesus Christ.
the AVs heard, and he's answered our prayers. This time we're going to uh, join in the singing of our opening hymn. Our opening hymn this morning, as indicated in the bulletin hymn number four. <coughs> Take the name of Jesus with you. Take the name of Jesus with you. After we've sung the first two verses, we want to turn to our Christian sisters and brothers and greet them with a good morning and a handshake. Take the name of Jesus with you. Cow, sorrow, and a boy. It will joy and comfort give you. Take it then where you go. Precious name, precious name. Oh, how sweet hope of earth and joy of heaven. Precious name, oh, how sweet hope of earth and joy of heaven. Saints, let's all stand.
hear her as she rang this up today on our one sister group. Praise the Lord, Church. Praise the Lord. The announcements for this week are as follows. <coughs> Christ has promised to bear our burdens if we give them to him. However, the only way that Christ can share our load is for him to exercise control over our life. However, human beings are reluctant to give up authority over themselves. The illusion of having control of our circumstances gives us a false sense of security. But the truth is that until we allow the Heavenly Father to manage our lives, we will be managed by our problems, chasing after the quickest solution or the easiest escape from pain. In doing so, we block Christ from giving us his best. Well, Mark your calendars. August the 9th, meet us at Bethesda Baptist Church for the baptism of our latest new candidate, Trent Selvin. On August the 20th, at our annual church outing, our church chairperson is Minister Campbell, and he will need your help. Please volunteer and make yourself available to help. Bring friends and family to enjoy what is always a blessed event. August 28th, at our 11 a.m. service, welcome a very special guest, Dr. Samuel Peters of Topeka, Kansas. Come out and bring friends to share the blessing. Keep in mind, keep in prayer and keep in mind. Pray for our sick, shut in, traveling, the bereaved, our young people at home in the way, and all who have said, pray for me. Continue to send special prayers for Minister Campbell and Sister Wanda Campbell, no longer hospitalized, Amen. and family. Need a ride to church Sunday? Please contact Pastor Henderson on 301-218-17, that should be 22? Yes. 22 to make arrangements. Please visit and support our church website at njbcmd.org. We are also now on Twitter at New Jerusalem BC, Google, Google Plus, Yahoo, YouTube, Ustream, and Facebook. Be sure to visit, sign in, and direct others to the site to share the blessing. You encourage and you encourage the great and self-sacrificing work of Minister White for the Lord when you sign in, comment, and tell a friend. Our thought for the week. At some point, everyone, including you and I, experienced the pain of a dashed hope and dream. Disappointment is emotional, but also a normal response and reaction to a failed hope. When disappointment is allowed to linger, it can turn into discouragement with seemingly no joy or contentment, regardless of what you do to rectify the situation. While the circumstances or incidents that trigger those emotions may be unavoidable, how we respond is clearly still our choice. We can choose to live in discouragement, anger, and frustration, which makes it hard to focus on anything besides our pain. As anger becomes habitual, we look to someone, anyone, to blame, whether it be God, people around us or ourselves in truth or untruth. Not properly handled, discouragement, anger, and frustration, a vicious cycle can develop. First, it may frequently develop into despair and we become estranged and different from others, distant from others. Then we find that people do not enjoy our company because of our angry, bitter, and defeated nature. We can become isolated and be begin to feel low self-esteem. People with low self-esteem commonly make poor decisions based on defeated and crushed emotions instead of what is actually true. Obviously, choosing a self-destructive path is not God's plan for the best for us. Rather, it is a path of our own poor choosing. Though we all may face disappointment, believers are not to wallow in it. I say again, though we all may face disappointment, believers are not to wallow in it. Instead, God wants us to trust him in everything, even unmet expectations which result in deep sadness. Remember, Romans 8.28, which tells us that there is a divine purpose for everything God allows to touch his children's lives. Let go and let God do his very best for you.
on our prayer list. We have the Selden family, Deborah Jenkins and Blake Bandy, the Birch family, the Dunbar family, the Dunbar family children, Ms. the Williams family, the Harris family, Darian O'Brien, Dr. D. Noah Combs, Mary Brown, the White family, the Molly family, the Harris family, the Coleman family, Stanley Dye, brother and sister Campbell, uh, mother dear Franklin, the Hendersons, Anthony Gray, Legina Gray, Ruby Naylor, the White family, the Jenkins and Greens family, Rachel Jenkins, and the Huff family. Visitors are always welcome at New Jerusalem Baptist Church. God loves you, and so do we. Amen. God can bless you with everything you need, and you will always have more than enough to do all kinds of good things for others. His kindness shines through you. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for all you guys have done for me. There's not enough words to express my gratitude. Sincerely, Taya. Amen. 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 The day is drawing closer when Taya is going to be heading on out. Yes. Going up to the mountains. Going to wait us go. Go encourage and go with our blessings, Taya. Time has come for you to leave the eagle's nest. Yes, go yes. get yourself ready. Uh, and be sure that, that, that when you leave the nest, that you're going to, you're going to spread your wings and soar. Yes, yes, yes. You take the name of Jesus with you. Take the name of Jesus with you. Uh, certainly, we have it to have in all this this morning. Uh, it's one guest, uh, Brother Phil Prophet. Phil Prophet. Uh, is no stranger to us, uh, and his, his knee's been aching him a little bit, so I'm not going to ask him to stand up. Just hold your hand up, Brother Crawford. Hey, Amen. Let everybody know you see you. Brother Crawford is here visiting from New York, right, Brother Crawford? Hey, Amen. And um, just, just from, from your seat, remind us of what church you're a member of, Brother Crawford? Uh, St. George, Brooklyn. Okay. Hey, St. George, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, St. George Church in Brooklyn. Amen. And he and Minister White uh, certainly have been friends now through the years, and we thank God for their friendship. Um, keep in mind in our bulletin that we do indeed uh, have a guest a preacher that's going to be coming to bless us on the fourth Sunday of this month. 